we got this from Monica Neese on Facebook. President Trump's selections at this point are very clear. Laws will be enforced. Democrats can get on board or get out of the way. America is on her way to being reestablished, and the world view is tough but fair. Juan, more of a statement than a question, but how do you answer, Monica? Well, I think the United States already is tough and fair. I think we're exceptional already, and we're dominant in terms of our military and our economic prowess. I don't think that's in dispute. I think the question uh, really is about the appointments and the appointment process. So you have people who I would say don't fit into exactly a team of rival, but to many people, a team of radicals, a team of radicals in terms of what are these people representing? Flynn, uh, Mike Flynn, I don't think he could be confirmed, uh, but so he's getting the, sec the uh, national security advisor because. job. I think his past uh, at nas in national security and the number defense of people. intelligence agency. Yes, uh, specifically as head of defense intelligence right. and the way that he left there and questions about his management style and about sharing information and what some in the intelligence community call Flynn facts, which is facts that don't comport with what others in the intelligence community believe to be true. Colin Powell writing in the WikiLeaks leak uh, that he thought he was unhinged. I think this tells you, this it would be very difficult. Jeff Sessions, who went after Elena Kagan when she was appointed to the court because of her radical associations and cited former Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. I wrote a biography of Marshall. Session said, well, you're associated with these kind of activist judges who are more after their own political ends than justice. Well, if you apply that to Jeff Sessions and the fact that he was rejected for a federal judgeship 30 years ago, we didn't have very sensitive race relations 30 years ago as compared to today, and he was rejected then. All right, let me, let me bring in Lisa. Do you want to push back on that? Well, yeah, I mean, as U.S. Attorney General, he brought cases to desegregate schools and also led the prosecution. U.S. Attorney. Against, uh, U.S. Attorney, yeah, and he also uh, brought uh, cases against to desegregate schools. And he also prosecuted uh, and got the death penalty as Attorney General of Alabama for a Klansman. So I, I think that's ridiculous. And if you actually look at the choices that Donald Trump has made so far, he ran a campaign about being a maverick, of going to Washington, D.C. to shake things up. And the people that he's bringing alongside him are also known for shaking things up. And I, I think the message that it sends by looking at someone like Lieutenant General uh, Flynn sends that he's, or Mattis as well, General Mattis, is that he's going to go after ISIS. You look at what Flynn did alongside with General McChrystal, they turned the JSOC into one of the most lethal uh, terrorist hunting organizations. So I think it sends a strong message that we're going to go after ISIS, we're going to go after ISIS strong and hard. And another point that a lot of people aren't making, I think his conversations that he is having uh, with the likes of Mitt Romney and Ted Cruz also sends a strong signal to the Republican Party that we are united right now. And the ir irony of that is the duration of the general election. Everyone was talking about how Donald Trump's going to lead Republicans into the wilderness for generations. Well, guess what? Guess which party's in the wilderness right now? It's the Democratic Party who's had to delay uh, nominations because they don't know what the future looks like for them. Well, I think when you think about someone like Flynn, Americans, Lisa, are concerned when you look at his ties to Russia, his ties to Vladimir Putin, when they think about his ties to what Turkey. They, what are you talking well, about? He, remember, he, he went, went, just went throwing away. out. He didn't go to a dinner. Thank you. He not only well, go to a dinner, he went to a dinner for Russia today and was with Putin, and he was taking money from the Turkish government. These are facts, yeah. Laura. Well, uh, here's here's what what We're I think. Out of time, yeah. so a quick okay. Answer. Well, go there's ahead. a lot said by Juan, but what you said, a team of radicals. This is the kind of stuff that is turn people against Washington, D.C., and these, ty this, these types of lines against true patriots who sacrifice for their country, who are beloved among the men and women in the military, who actually do the heavy lifting for all of us. Mattis, General Mattis, is one of the most beloved Marines of the last 50 years. General Flynn is, is considered one of the preeminent intelligence experts of our age. So to throw out these, these lines, a team of radicals, that serves nobody's interest. If you have a substantive disagreement with their approach to fighting terror or their approach to intelligence, that's fine.